day, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Greece. So, guys, we're gonna finish up this Tunnus War, and then hopefully this episode we're gonna go to war with our other great and mighty uh, friends, the uh, <laughs> Ottomans. So, I'm also going to just slow down just a little bit because I realize my frame rate's going a little bit weird. <laughs> I don't know why, but because we actually do have a decent computer right now, so it's kind of weird, but. Yeah, we're just going to casually... Really? Canadian army just rose against me. Well, let's go kill that off. And let's move down. Yeah, we're just going to casually reconquer back all this land that we lost to them. It's like, it almost feels like we're reconquering back some of the land that was rightfully ours, but somehow did not become ours. But now we have it back, so now it is ours. I don't know. I'm basically saying that I'm glad we're conquering this all back. If that was a very confusing, like, sentence. I'm glad that we'll be conquering one of our original colonies. Which, they should be a part of our original colonies, because they are, like, basically us. Let's go right here to Gaspa. Get them all into our land. And, yeah, this is... I'm really, I'm really digging this campaign right now. Like, after we finally got that little breakaway moment where we finally could break away and finally get the land we needed from the uh, Ottoman Empire, instead of, like, being stuck there as we were with the British, this has finally, like, become a really fun Let's Play. Ah. And I bet it shows sometimes, too. Because I think, I don't know, I, I honestly believe you can't fake liking something. It's either, people know when you, like, fake liking something, so... You know, when a YouTuber actually likes it, this Let's Play becomes even more energetic and even more fun. Which I think this Let's Play for me is now becoming that. More energetic and more fun because we've actually gotten somewhere. <laughs> We're not just stuck in a little infinite loop where we just sit there and like wait for the Ottomans. No, now we have actually the power to fight the Ottomans. Um, my only worry is, is that if we do declare war on the Egyptians, which is... It's stupid that they have an alliance with the Ottomans. I don't know how that came about. Like, it seems almost... I, I don't know what the word is, but it seems almost superficial that they got an alliance with with the Ottomans as soon as we were trying to uh, invade them. So, yeah. A little bit ticked about that, but just it really can't be helped. So, uh, Tunis, it's now time for you guys to finally become back a part of my empire. Thank you guys, you guys are a joyous bunch to be around, you are finally have rejoined the ranks of the mighty Greek Empire. It's good to see you guys again, and we can actually lower taxes even more! Dang, 46! More than less than 50% of my people are paying me what they earn. That is a pretty good, that is a pretty good amount of taxes right there, I just do say so myself. Okay, let's get back over here, and we can build a decent-sized army now. Um, lots of soldiers we could build in Africa. Alright, so let's start doing that. Three, four, five, six. So, one, two, three, three, four, five. Build my one siege guy. Six, one, two. There we go. And get back all of our soldiers over here, and now we just wait until that magical year when we can declare war. Um... And, uh, Prussia, you seem to have formed Germany. Under what grounds did you form Germany? Oh my goodness, this is like the weirdest Germany I've ever seen. There's like 20 different states still free. What happened here? Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen this, people. So, Germany apparently formed, but it didn't really form. Like, there's still a massive part of it not really there. I don't know what happened, but that is hilarious and st strange at the same time. Okay, kaboom! I love that kaboom. Mechanized mining. Yeah, we're getting we're getting this all up to date. So, um... Attacking these guys. I, I don't know why, I still haven't let this go. Like, it's... It's something I really want to consider, but it's also something I know is insanely risky because, for one, we won't gain an entire province. Um, we'll just gain like a fraction of the actual people. And really, we're just going to be there just to uh, colonize and really nothing else. So, hmm. 
I don't know. It, it's it's one of those like I don't know moments. It's, and it seems like there's some rebels conquering Italy. Poor Italy. It just has not been able to get themselves together after the like massive attacks it suffered. All right, you guys are gonna go right there, and I guess I'm gonna move you guys all the way to my my Sinai region. You guys get on here. You guys go over here. Okay. Excellent! Mechanized mining is excellent. Okay, and... Hmm. You know, I honestly have a lot of infamy to burn, so we could try to think of somebody to attack that wouldn't be... Hmm. What happened? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Look at what hap happened to, f to the mighty empire of Brussels. Look at that. It's like... <laughs> Everything book. Oh, dang, that's kind of cool. It's like you could see the fracture of the once mighty empire of Brussels. Like you have the the Walshians and the Flandians and the Belgians. The Belgians are trying to control the main capital in the center, and then the two outer vassals are just like, yeah, we don't really care about either of you, and broke off. Dang, that's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, and it seems like you guys are doing that. So yeah. Okay, so we do have a free, like, little bit, so we could probably go figure out who we want to, uh, you know, do a little bit of funness to. Uh, you're really not worth much, even when you do do stuff, so I'm not gonna try them, but I do have, like, a free conquest. Hmm. Korea. Hmm. Korea. Just, like, take them over, get all the... Well, why would I need Korea? Actually, now I'm thinking about why would I need Korea? I'm not really that worth it right now, and that just spreads my army thin. I, if I am going to attack somewhere, I should attack more nearby. And how did the British steal Argentina from France? Oh yeah, France was pretty weak for like the longest of times. It's, it's finally becoming a great power again. Finally. But when we actually need them to... To help us out, they're not willing to do stuff. Oh, we don't have a good enough relationship yet. Let's try. Let's try to become friends with the with the French again, because the French, if we use them right, could actually become a really good alliance against the uh, British Empire if we really do need them. So let's try to make the French like us. And it seems like our economy just crashed. So back to taxing the back to taxing the uh, poor again. Do 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 do. Sixty percent. So yeah, the poor are being taxed again. Poor poor. Uh, and this woman's world anti-slavery convention. I thought we already we're not slavery, are we? I thought because I thought we already deleted that. Yeah, yeah, we, we're definitely not slavery, and I can't believe. I guess it's still slavery in the world. Wow. Huh. This world's a little bit behind in terms of times. This is like sad that I just realized that too. I thought our I thought our culture would have been much more. Unitarianly pleasant, but apparently we still have some universal truths that should be erased. That's sad. That's sad right there. Alright, but on the plus side, we could try... Let's see. Would they accept... I think we would have to spend almost all of our diplomatic points trying to get the French to like us. But if we do this, then we'd have both the French and the Russians on our side to attack the, the uh, Ottoman Empire. That means we both, we'd have two good allies to help protect us against a possible, you know, uh, United Kingdom attack. So if the United Kingdom did try to do something against me, they'd have two great powers that would easily be able to, you know, do something against them. That's what I was thinking. And let's see, how much do I gain per turn? 0 0.7, so. I gained basically one of the turn, so it won't take that long before I'll have another one ready to go and go send him. And I have so much money right now. Insist it's ours, whatever. Yeah, if, are, are they trying to do something? Who's who's trying to free themselves right now? Uh, Ottomans? What? I thought we destroyed them. Ah, oh, gosh dang it. The Ottomans still do not die, even in death. Yes! Okay, okay. So now we got an alliance from France, and now we got an alliance from Russia. The two greatest powers in this game. Or the two biggest helps, I should say, in this game. Okay, um, before we do anything, I'm going to move my army over here. Okay, and we're going to have them at the main post. Should I? Hmm. 
no, the most likely, most likely Britain's gonna be able to come through all this land. Holy shoot! Let's combine all these guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, we do not watch his. Uh, yeah. It seems like France is still dealing with a lot of problems in the African colonies. Can't really help that though. Uh, yeah. I can't really help that. But it seems like we have a massive army here, so I'm just going to move it out of the way. And then we're going to, yeah, because we don't want to do what we did the first time in this war. What we're going to do is we're going to get these armies out of the way into the mainland already so that they're already safe and, you know, somewhat protected against the onslaught of Europeans. Okay, and I'm just going to do that. And so we can easily, that way we can easily have an army over here without, you know, having difficulty like we did last time. And then we're going to declare war, and it's going to be glorious and marvelous, and we're going to finally win. We're going to finally win back everything we need, and we'll probably take two wars now that I'm thinking about it. One war where I'll probably just, um, one war to finally take Thrace and all that kind of stuff, and another war to take the other stuff, and then we'll finally be able to finally finish this all off. And now finally our quest to form the Byzantine Empire is complete. Took us insane amounts of time. Dude, really? They're already starting, and we haven't even. Well, that colony is probably gonna die first, so I'm not. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm going to try to go send troops over there, cause they're just going to die anyway. So there's no point. Oh man, my vocal cords are getting a little bit more and more damaged the more and more I do this. Oh, that stinks though. That really does stink. Oh. Because I really do have to record all these, so let's move our troops over here. More troops over here, and let's move our troops over there. Okay. Let's see, is there anyone doing a major war right now? No wars. This is like the perfect opportunity to do this. Declare war, I want Thrace. Which one's Thrace? Okay, I could not gain Thrace. Well then I want everything that's... I want the other place that's not Thrace. This, uh, what is it called? This region right here, Izamek, uh, Hugavar. Hugavar, that's what it's called. I want Hugavar. Okay. Declare war. Hugavar. Let's see. Very unlikely, very unlikely, very unlikely. Wow. Hmm. Okay, let's try it. Treacherous, they came. Treacherous, they came. Okay, so France was the only one that did not come, and this was a massive alliance that probably needed the French on my side. Oh gosh, <laughs> this is going to be a complex war in and of itself, but all right, we have our army moving in. Okay, yeah, maybe I should have waited for a more opportunistic time, but. I was too eager. It was finally time to finally deal with these guys. And I really can't say I'm really mad. Because <laughs> I'm just going to attack. There we go. I'm gonna go completely block up Istanbul so it doesn't like cause more of their soldiers to come in my land. So we can block up this. Okay. Let's see. Protectionism. Let's go right here. Block it up. Lock up the men so that they can, so they have a divided army. Okay, and boom. Okay, wow, that's a lot of soldiers. Okay, do this, mobilize. Okay, and let's see, yeah, they're coming in right there. I figured. Alright, let's see, France, you guys want alliance back? No, you guys do not. But, and it does seem like the Austro Liberation. Ooh, my allies did not join in. That was kind of stupid of you. So I was, I was the one keeping you guys back from being destroyed. But we're gonna see if we can steal this from the, uh, from the, what are they called? English. Um, in all honesty, I believe Portugal is probably gonna get conquered again. Uh, they're probably not gonna last. Uh, most of my outer colonies will get conquered. I'm pretty sure about that. We're just here to make. I'm just here to make sure that we can conquer all this very effectively without without having too much, you know, interference from the other guys. 
So let's see, let's just try to do this. The fascists are now coming in power. Great! They're always great people to have in your in your country. So let's just destroy these guys. And let's just go right here. Because they want this army wants to really tango with me. Uh, go right here. And let's see how the Russians doing in terms of conquering. Ooh, they have a pretty big army. Oh, dang, when did we break the alliance with with Persia? When did that happen? Oh man, that kind of stinks. I didn't know we broke that alliance because they would have. Persia was a pretty good help in the first one, so I think they're going to help this time too. Let me make sure Russia seems to be keeping it pretty much together. We're basically conquering a lot, and they're going to be crushing through all this land right here, which is good. And we're basically just holding hostage the entire Ottoman land. I mean, every time they try to attack us, we basically have a river crossing, which is major to us, and they can't really get past that, no matter how much they try. So we're always going to be able to just slightly win against them in every single engagement we do. And if they do try to come over, it's going to be in small, small spurts, so we can always just keep winning, which is a good thing about this. You see, I'm just like destroying all of these guys. And yeah, we basically we basically have free roam over here because they can't really attack us. Granted, I can't get over there yet, but that's going to be easy reprimanded. Getting over there is not the hard part. It's just blocking them out so that they don't have enough men to come over here on my land. So, yeah, we're, I think we're doing fairly good. I mean, most of my other colonies are falling like I expected. Um, seems like we're basically even right now, which is good, because that means once we conquer the lands we actually do need, it'll tip the favor drastically in our, in our stands. So, this is all good. This is all good. I'm really not seeing much fault in this at all. The Russians are doing their duty and conquering what they need to conquer. We've already defeated, like, a good amount of the Ottomans' forces, which is already a good sign that we are doing a great job. Okay, let's just get all you guys, get on here. More of our men. We have a lot of uh, industrialized and mobilized men, which is good. We're keeping a good amount of them over here. And just in the moment of greatness, the ultra-liberals decide to ruin the great... Okay, once you guys are done conquering, go free ourselves from these rebels. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Go help. Go help before they all die. Oh gosh. Okay, never mind. Go, go quickly. Go quickly. Go, go quickly. Go quickly. We have to go save them. How? Okay. Are these guys just really insanely bad at attacking or something? Because... How are the Dutch beating me? Seriously, I'm, I'm seriously wondering this. How are the Dutch beating me? Okay, and it seems like we finally we conquered all this. The Dutch somehow stood their ground. I am amazed. Okay, what is happening in this battle? Greater commanders. Yeah, let's just get out of here. This is not doing good. Okay. It seems like the Russians are finally crushing down over here. Which is good. I don't think they're being invaded too heavily by either the Europeans or anything like that. So we should be able to be fine over here. Yeah, they're starting to push back over there, which is good. Um, yeah. Most of our army just got destroyed. Because of a massive, stupid uprising. Don't know how that happened. Don't even know how that happened. And yes, I am a little bit ticked off about that, if you haven't noticed. Because that should not have happened. Okay. And let's destroy these guys. Okay. Let's go right over here. Go all the way around like a stupid idiot. And go start, like, conquesting all of our land back. Gosh dang it. I don't know. Why did you guys attack doing this time? Seriously. We were doing so good. I mean, we're honestly not doing good anymore. Because you guys had to do that. Oy. Whew, okay, I'm getting more and more angry as this as this game keeps progressing. I may have to really just literally I'm I'm really almost losing my cool, seriously. This is really starting to become an anger an anger class because I'm really getting annoyed by the What? I don't know what Dono is. Okay, so 
but it seems like there is something really wrong with all these people. Okay. We're somehow losing Quiet Greek Malaysia. Did they attack my Malaysian colony? No, they did not attack my Malaysian colony. I don't know how we're getting war against that then. Okay, but it seems like the Russians are getting their act together. They're starting to win against there. Okay, we're going to combine all of you guys and we're going to do a unified. No. No, just combine. No one tried to be the hero. Okay, we're going to combine into one big gigantic army. Okay, we're going to get the best commander in charge. The best commander who has really good attack. Hmm, we have really good defensive commander, it's the same. Okay, we're going to go kick the, the living daylight out of this little, like, army right here. Yeah, there we go. No, no. Yeah, there we go. We finally broke their army once. That means they should be less hard to beat the second time. Yeah, there we go. No. I'm not going to give you guys that. First of all, you guys haven't earned it. Second of all, I'm not going to give it to you. So, yeah. We're going to go attack these guys now. Yeah. We're basically destroying them with Big Gigantic. Yeah, even if they destroy as many as they do, I still have much more than they do. Records, clamp down on the organization and attempt to shut down. Yeah, I'm not letting I'm not letting fascism come into my country. It's it's kinda seems like even even more of something I should fight than than communism. Gosh dang it, the red coats got in my country too. Ugh. Seems like we're gonna have to go deal with them now. So many people we have to deal with. So many people we have to deal with. And did Russia get out of this war? Because that's when I'm... Oh! Oh, no wait, the Ottomans got out of this war. Okay. Um... If you guys want to... I don't mind giving up Greek Malaysia. Like, seriously, if you guys... If you guys seriously don't want to, uh... Fight for it anymore, I really don't... I don't really particularly care about Greek Malaysia. Can I form? Can I like diplomatically like blood and conquest? Oh, that's funny. Okay. It seems like it seems like I'm all on my own too in terms of what I'm gonna have to do against this unstoppable threat of. Okay, seems like that ended, and I'm pretty sure I lost Greek Malaysia. Yep, I did, and the Dutch gained that province. Kinda stinks I lost some of my mines. But I don't think it's too bad. I mean, I gained a province, but somehow I gained, like, tons of debt. Great. That makes everything worthwhile. But, yeah. Okay. So, in all honesty, when you attack the Ottomans, they really should not have an alliance with the British. That's... Seeming what I got from this and you guys want an alliance back? Yes, you do Thank you. This would probably have helped if you guys were actually in this battle, too Because then you probably could have attacked the uh, British a little bit more headstrong and then we probably could have had joint occupation But that's fine. That's fine. We can have two attacks and do all that So now we wait for two more years to attack and we're gonna be fine. Let me just Demobilize. Oh, that's why we haven't demobilized yet. There we go. And we're now just going to uh, break away, balance all the troops. Okay. There we go. And now we just wait for the Ottomans, uh, hopefully, to fall apart. Okay. While we try to repay back all of our debts. And some stupid factions in power, isn't it? Back to the Russian faction. <laughs> there we go. No voting, the Ottomans, yes, okay. Did that delete the alliances? Does that mean we can attack again? Okay. <laughs> uh, if we fail, do we have a truce still? Oh gosh, dang it. Hmm. You know, I almost feel like we could do this without, without them. Hmm. 
Well, guys, you're going to have to wait till next time. If I'm going to break a truce to try to see if I can gain the Ottoman land. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.